Hey you guys, my name is Ty Jackson. Welcome to my YouTube page. Now, today's video, we're gonna get right into it. It's gonna be one sign, one huge sign that the spirit of Antichrist is at work. Now, I personally have not heard this taught the way that I'm about to tell you. I've heard people mention it, but not break it down in this way, all right? Now, we know that we're in the time of the end. We know we're in the last days. We know we see the mark of the beast, um, uh, technology, shadows of it, you know, becoming. We see all this stuff taking place here, the wars, the rumors of wars, the pestilence. We see all of that, right? And we teach all of that. I teach all of that. However, this is one huge sign that the spirit of Antichrist is at work. And this one huge sign, I can guarantee you in some way, shape or form affects you. Let's get into it. Now, Daniel 9 or Daniel 7, 25 says this. And he shall speak pompous words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and shall intend to change the times in the law. Then the saints will be given in his hand for time, times, and half a time, right? So when we read this and when we read Daniel 7 in general, we see the Antichrist is spoken about, right? The man of sin, the little horn and as i'm talking i have to remember that so no rush because this is a longer video i'm not going to be cut off <laughs> but we see a mention as the man of sin we see him mentioned well that's according to paul but we see him and daniel uh mentioned as the little horn right because there are 10 horns and then he's the 11th horn he comes back and subdues three of those horns and daniel tells you who those horns are it's egypt libya and ethiopia right and then we see the same imagery in the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 13, when the Bible says um, out of the, you know, you, you have the beast coming out of the sea and he has seven heads and ten horns, right? You see this 11th horn, he ends up taking these ten horns under his wing or he forces them, so to say. And when that happens, you'll notice in Revelation chapter 6, he starts out as the rider on the white horse right the rider on the white horse and he comes with the bow and with the crown seeking who he can conquer which this is a far cry you know in opposition to yeshua who comes back with a sword and many crowns in revelation chapter 19. so you can already see where this is going now i'm of the belief and i'll have to do another video of it that the biblical antichrist is islam's mahadi right i've been believing this for like the last since i've gotten saved and i've heard perry stone preach it and ever since he i heard him preach it i started getting my own deep study about it and i'm like bro this islam's mahadi they're a fig in time figure along with uh isa bin Merim or jesus the son of mary who they see in islam this is literally adjacent or it mirrors revelation chapter 13 of our antichrist in the false prophet in daniel 9 and daniel 7 and you know all of that so that's what i believe nevertheless what is the key point from this that we are seeing now that is affecting you that affects me different times and that directly or indirectly i want you to notice this part he shall speak pompous words against the most high and shall wear out the saints of the most high wear out what does it mean that he shall wear out now this is speaking of the literal antichrist let me first preface that with this this is speaking of the literal antichrist he shall wear out the saints of the most high however there is a spirit of antichrist and we see the spirit of antichrist talked about by the apostle john now i forgot to write the scripture down for you guys but we see I might put it in the description, but we see that um, the spirit of Antichrist is talked about by the Apostle John. So we can expect the spirit of Antichrist to carry the same traits as the biblical Antichrist, but in spirit form, because this spirit will eventually take over the man. I'll say that one more time. This spirit will eventually fully take over the man and in its fullness, it will be known as the beast in Revelation chapter 13. Now, the Hebrew word for wear out is Bela, and it means to wear 
down, all right? So what does this mean? What does this mean for you as I begin to start trending down my final descent to wrap up? What does this mean? During the tribulation period, the Antichrist himself will wear down the saints of the Most High. He'll do this through killing them, through persecuting, um, through, you know, of course, the mark. If you if you don't get the mark, you can't buy or sell without it. <clears throat> you know, the name of, of the number of his name, all of these things. He's going to wear down the saints of the Most High. But how the spirit of Antichrist does that is this. He tries to oppress you. This spirit tries to oppress. And let me make this too. Let, let me make this statement too. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The spirit of Antichrist is not omnipresent, okay? But you have the spirit of Antichrist and you have spirits that operate in hierarchy underneath that spirit and the spirits under them underneath that so it's like you have the united states of america you have the president of the united states then you have the united states military that operate under the uh, command of the president of the united states if america goes and attacks let's say afghanistan or you know china or somewhere right what what ends up happening is yes they'll blame our military but you'll hear them say the president's name well the president attacked this the president attacked that that's because he's the head one in charge right and they look back at him so in the same way as this when i say the spirit of antichrist i'm speaking that he you have him he's not omnipresent but then under him you have spirits that's carrying out his attacks and this is how a lot of spirits work okay uh do another video on that we're teaching a class on that actually the final three days of the month check the pinned comments or the description the link will be down there for that as well but the, how do they do this or how does this spirit do this to you now have you ever been in the midst of an attack of the enemy right you're in the middle of an attack from the enemy and in the middle of this attack i mean it feels like he's just whamming throwing haymakers right that happens sometimes and we talk about that we're always talking about the huge attacks of the enemy however have you ever noticed this the little attacks the small irritating attacks why do i bring that up it may not seem like it's significant but i want you to ponder this you wake up in the morning you got to get ready for work you go to get your coffee. Your coffee machine is broken, right? And before people say, well, the enemy didn't cause that. Spirits can cause stuff to happen to electricity because they themselves are a form, you know, of it, right? So they can cause stuff to happen to electricity. They can cause stuff. They can pressure stuff from the interdimensional realm. They can pressure, pressure stuff from their room into our world to force certain stuff to happen. Okay, whether it's influencing somebody or forcing something or indirectly causing something to take place under God's allowance, depending on the legality, you know, of the atmosphere, you know, it's a lot of factors that play into it. But anyways, you wake up, your coffee machine is broken. You're like, hey, I can't get my coffee today. I might as well just go to Starbucks. Right. Then you go outside, your tires flat and you're like, my tires flat. I got to call Uber. So now you can't even go to Starbucks. Right. So you're like, you call Uber, you get to work. Right. You're on your way to work, you know, but you're still hitting it. You're like, you know what? I'm not going to let anything stop me today. You know, even though my coffee machine broke and, you know, I wasn't able, my, my tire was flat. I'm at work. Today's going to be a good day. So you're continuing, but you're still a little bit irritated. Right. But now you're going throughout the day. And as you're going throughout the day, now you have that one customer that comes in that just comes in and irritates you. Doesn't really say anything to you, but irritates you. You know, they say something that's triggering or something like that. And you're like, you know what? Uh, that customer irritated me, but I'm going to keep it moving. Today's just not turning out to be my day. So you go home, you go to bed, right? You wake up and you're like, ah, uh, I was irritated yesterday, but today's going to be a better day. You go outside, your tire's cool, you're, you get your coffee, but now you're on your way to work, right? And then now, uh, you know, you, you run over um, something that ends up causing something in your car to just break, right? So now you run over something and let's just say your other tire. Now your other tire starting to lose air. So now you're like, not this again. Gotta go get your tire replaced. You're late to work, you get to work. You know, you get written up because you're late to late to work you know all of that now the ir notice the irritation is starting to pile on little by little so now it's not a big haymaker but you're getting irritated little by little by little by little now it's starting to get to you 
now you're starting to get eh, this is happening but you know but you still decide to go on about your day and then something ends up happening right you end up getting to work you're written up you sit down or you uh, go do whatever you're doing at work you encounter some customers right and then now somebody goes and tells your manager that you did something that you wasn't supposed to do now, now you did it but they just decided to up and lie now that just makes you angry the irritation is piling 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 on top of each other right look at my beautiful wife <laughs> the irritation is piling 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 on top of each other so now you know you're you're literally just an all-out irritation you don't feel like being bothered you don't feel like talking to anybody so the enemy has started to wear you out you get it wear you out and now that he has worn you out and got you weaker and has your mind just in an irritable mode now it's time that he comes at you with a haymaker now at this time right you go home and then when you go home you find out that your mom was just put in the hospital because she got hit by a car. A drunk driver just up and hit her. And now the other days have been pretty irritating, right? You've been worn out, but you've been able to make it. That's the dagger. That's the dagger. And it doesn't even just have to be your mom being put in the hospital, drunk driver hit her. It could be just any situation, any big situation. So notice the pattern of the enemy in your life, okay? Little by little by little, by little, boom. And that's when he hits you. And then now you're worn out. Now that haymaker lays you out. And now you're like, I have no strength to get all of that. That is the spirit of antichrist at work to wear you out in your daily life. How do you avoid this? Can you avoid the attacks of the enemy? Some of them you can't. Some of them are just a part of life. Jesus put it like this. In the world, temptations must come, but woe to who it comes through, right? So there must be temptations. There must be testings. There must be trials. However, the person that it comes through and the spirit that influences it, that's who is going to get in trouble ultimately. But you, my friend, stand strong. These are some tips to help you. Spin day each day spend time praying in your prayer language in tongues you gotta praying in tongues because what does praying in tongues do if you look up the greek word which i gotta do another video on this but um for edification and link with praying in tongues it means to build to construct it's literally like building constructing a house so you pray in tongues consistently you're building up your house okay study scripture because when you study scripture you get the substance of the word of god in you the bible talks about faith comes by hearing the word of god so study scripture worship okay some of you have heard me say this what sex is to a marriage in the form of intimacy intimacy that's what worship is to god in fact when god created sex for the married couple he he created it to reflect the intimacy that we have with him in worship so worship that's how you become more one with god at a spiritual level the apostle paul talks about this okay it's why the uh, anybody could praise god let everything that has breath praise right but um those that worship must do it in spirit and truth okay only a few can worship because that takes relationship so fast and pray also helps to align you with god and just you know pray ask him for faith to help you and through his strength even though in your hard days he'll still help you overcome okay this is one key sign the spirit of antichrist is here i hope you guys enjoyed this message um hit subscribe with the bell icon so you can be notified whenever i do upload new videos okay in addition to that hit the like button because it lets uh youtube's algorithm know that you like this video i'm almost up to 100k on youtube subscribers glory to god uh god is good he is amazing uh 400k on uh tiktok and uh god is just you know moving a lot um, you guys keep us in prayer. We have a lot of projects this year uh, with ministry. My wife, she's putting out short form books. I plan on putting out short form books, Lord willing. Um, we got some projects, you know, I'm completing another album 
um, working, I'm, I'm supposed to be releasing my heaven book this year of the heaven visitation some of you know about. Um, also, I'm working, Lord willing, I'll get it done. I'm working on an extensive guide to the book of Revelation, hopefully be out in the next three to five years. Sooner if the Lord wills, but if the Lord keeps me around that long, hopefully it'll be done. All right, so you guys pray for uh, me with that. Pray for my wife as she continues to advance in ministry and both of us with Jacob's Ladder. Um, if you want to sow, you know, you can. The information will be down in the description. Uh, you guys, God bless you all. Also, 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 I forgot to say this. We are having our... Um, um a bible study every thursdays except the last thursday of each month because that's when we that weekend is when we do our jacob's ladder meetings in person chicagoland area if you're ever in the area um but i'm gonna see if, i'm gonna put that information down in the description we're also doing a three-day class on spiritual warfare at the end of this month online class and it's going to be talking about how the enemy attacks you in your sleep how he attacks you like that succubuses incubuses the marine kingdom and a lot more all right so if this sounds like something that could be beneficial you could click the link in the pinned comments to join it is a pre-recorded class it is not live it is not live you know so uh if you miss it you'll have the link to watch in your own time as long as youtube is up and running if you do join check all your folders because if you have certain settings on it can go to your other folders all right hey love you guys talk to you guys